Greetings and welcome to another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. Today I want to show you the Rabies Druid and we're gonna take a look and see if he is any good in that build. So let's jump right into the skills. I've put in 20 the Poison Creeper which receives a bonus from Rabies but also gives Rabies a lot of plus damage. There it is. And of course we put in 20 no that and as you can see it's 54,000 damage but it's over 19 point two seconds so if you do the math it's like two and a half thousand per second which sounds great on paper but it still uh might not be quite enough but we will see in a second 20 into werewolf uh the rest of my points are like canthropy i also put in 20 into fury to have some other sort of source of damage in this case physical damage and that is it as for the items I have a plague in a fang knife and I know I can also put it like in a sword but this has more max damage and I want to do something different right so this is nice because it's at minus two enemy poison resistance it also has the chance to proc low resist which further lowers the poison resistance of the enemies also the poison aura which is a bit, little bit of damage two to all skills and the cleansing aura as well as deadly strike and open wounds I have a gel out, um, which is overall just a great item, and I have one poison facet in it. You can also argue to, I don't know, get a crown of ages and put in two poison facets, or like three open socket helmet with just three poison facets. But overall, um, we need the resistances and the strength energy and all that good stuff, um, as well as the plus two druid and shapeshifting skills, which gives a lot of plus damage. I have a Maros right now. We can also use a High Lords, for example. Let's just put it in for the plus to all skills. I have a Gemmed Ward. I want to do something different this time. I mean, of course, you would do a Monarch Shield because it requires less strength and put in four Poison Facets in it. I have a Bramble, which is Raul Om Sur F. It does up to plus 50 to Poison Skill damage, which is massive. Just look at this. Now we have 55k, now we have 40k. So it pumps up our damage significantly. All those boots, Raven Frost, Arachnid Mesh for plus skills, and also the Venom, which I thought does something for us, but I don't think it affects the rabies damage at all. Bookcave with Blessing Band and Trang Ults, which also give huge damage bonus to rabies. Aside from that, Shape Shifting Skillers and All Rest Charms. There are poison damage charms, but as you can see, the rabies damage is not altered by that, only our on hit damage. Hellfire Torch and Analyze. And I found the Geet's Fortune while testing. That was pretty neat. And you can see already the stats. I have uh, too much strength <laughs> because I have this ward which needs 185. Other than that, I've put in some into Dexterity for more attack rating and the rest into Vitality. But we have a nice 3000 life before Call to Arms, which is in our second weapon slot. For my mercenary, I opted to go double plague mercenary, act 5 mercenary with a treachery in a light plate, so low defense and also low defense kindish uh, vampire gaze. Uh, I guess there are helmets with lower defense, but this also gives a lot of survivability. Why the low defense? Because of the iron skin, which improves the defense value by a lot. And if you have like a fortitude or something, uh, this goes up to ridiculous amounts and the mercenary will never get hit, or almost never get hit, and I want him to get hit to proc lower assist, right? So, this is the setup. He should still survive. Uh, we can see it in Chaos uh, in a minute, because he has a lot of damage, as well as life stolen per hit, and the fate proc, of course. So, let's jump right in. The Poison Creeper up. Uh, we can also, like, CTA here. Unfortunately, we have to leave our... Verbal form for that. And then, as you can see, only rabies. I mean, it's neat, right? It doesn't do, like, the fastest job, but since it spreads, so if we only do rabies here, it isn't bad, right? And now lower assist procs, which boosts the damage even further, but we can also, like, rabies, and then... Oh, whoa, we get a lot of damage here. And then also Fury, help with the damage. 
Maybe I should have more life stealer. I think I only have like five life leech. That's a little bit less. Uh, not much, but oh yeah, I can pump up fair rage, of course. And now we have a lot more life steal. So just gonna rabies here and then fury them down. I think it's not bad for a melee build, to be honest. Let's find a bigger pack. Because Rabies is better if there are a lot of enemies since it spreads. And usually we have no problem killing those groups here. Let's see. Rabies in. I think it's pretty neat because it is viable to do cows and to do other areas as well. And you will run into some poison immunes in other areas, but lower assist should take care of most of it. And since it's a melee build, cow level isn't the best place to farm anyways. But it works. And as soon as lower this procs, it works pretty well. But let's go uh, to a different area. Let's try like my favorite area, of course, Traveling Pool. And it should be pretty easy. Oh, well, Poison Creeper died. I don't even know if Poison Creeper is worth casting. I mean, it does a decent amount of damage, right? Like 5k over 4 seconds? What's happening here? Where's my... But who knows if that stacks or doesn't stack with rabies damage or not. It's so weird sometimes how this game works. Okay, maybe it's uh, a bit difficult here. Why does it take so long for my life to regenerate? Okay, let's see. I wasn't really focusing, I think. And they were almost all dead already. So, Tremingo... Maybe not the best, because, like, I guess your mercenary would die pretty fast because of the Hydras again. Maybe give him, like, a Guardian Angel and a Curious Guardian for him to survive. That would be what I would be doing if I would do, were to do a uh, Travinkle all over again and over again. Let's see where we want to go. Let's go to the Wallstone Keep. And see how it works here. So, those are immune to magic, have a high resistance as well. I think those are immune to poison. Oh, the mag magus is immune to poison? Okay. Snakes. But as you can see, we can still use our fury. And again, it's not the fastest build, but that's how melee builds go anyways. Oh, they don't have any immunity, huh? Doesn't do much, to be honest. Like... The rabies is not really convincing me. I mean, the cow level was alright, because I think they don't have much resistances. Especially when low resist procs. But, like, this doesn't feel great. It is okay. But given our equipment, which consists of a lot of skillers and some high runes. Oh, shit. I was still on my CTA. Oh my god. 
No wonder. Because I'm just leaving that in the video. Uh, I was attacking with CTA, and as you can see, like it's four times or four times less the damage. Not even counting the deadly strike and everything. So let's try it again. See, now Fury does a lot of damage. <laughs> I was so confused what was going on. So it's <laughs> to repeat what I'm saying. I'm not amazed of this build of rabies but i think it's pretty neat and it has a lot of potential maybe if they introduce uh, one or two more rune words or maybe another synergy but for players one it's it's good enough i'd say it's good enough and as it always is with melee builds they're just not the fastest because i need to run everywhere and for Werewolf, I can't even use Enigma, since I cannot use the Teleport. But yeah, now we do a lot more damage. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, let's take a quick look at Eldritch. Just... Oh, I already killed him. Well, let's go to Shank then. So yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's a good supplement for Fury, but would I use it over Armageddon? Like, do a Fury Druid with Armageddon? Probably not, right? Probably Armageddon will be a bit better. But if you like poison and poison damage, you can use rabies and also yuri. And I think it's viable enough to have fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a little bit <laughs> mixed up and uh, yeah, was using the wrong weapon, but that happens, right? Uh, it's also a reminder for you to always check which weapon slot you are using. I mean, in this case, I could have seen it on the armor. But yeah, that happens. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. You got a, an idea of the rabies tweet. Maybe you like this build and want to try it out yourselves. I think it's very good in a playthrough through normal and nightmare. Maybe in hell you struggle a bit because you don't have anything to lower the resistances or even the immunity of monsters. But going through the game, Poison Creeper is very strong early on. And then also rabies is not bad at all. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching, good luck, have fun, and goodbye.